Queues persist, commuters stock despite petrol price hike. Federal government kicks off consumer credits with 500,000 beneficiaries. Lagos extends work from home policy. Abure clashes with OT, OB over setting up of interim ex school. NEC gives FCT Quara three others Monday deadline on state police. Chinese firm to build Leki Ekpe Link Bridge. Policeman, 12 others killed in Imo Niger play to attacks. Okay, which story are we taking? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, according to the nation, despite the increase of a um, uh, liter of uh, petrol from the 600 um, naira range to 855 naira per liter at the NMPC stations, which of course triggered a continuous increment between major marketers and independent marketers. So we have between 855 to 1,200 naira per liter for, from all, at all filling stations now. The, the, the still continuous queues across states the nation had done, you know, um, reports across all the states. And this increase in price did not change our situation. You still find most filling stations locked up. You find queues across filling stations. The NMPC had admitted that only owing suppliers 6.8 billion in debt. And um, they, of course, led to um, explain that as the reason for the initial queues and their inability to pay it. So they said they would... No, no longer be able to pay the difference. And so we thought <coughs> the difference was covered up by this increment, but you can see CQs. I, I had to go and hustle yeah. for this money. It's not funny anymore. Yeah. Um, so, you know, this situation is across all states. They've taken reports from Lagos to Abuja, Warika, no, just all states, and they're seeing the, different, the, the continuous queues and hardship right. Nigerians are going through. Mm -hmm. Of course, you have um, certain bodies speaking up. The... Um, um, uh, bodies like um, NLC and Co are all speaking up about this situation and what is going to mean in other sectors. Of course, you know that prices will soar in all um, sectors. Actually, for your food stuff, food stuff that we've got in this um, waiver for imports, it won't reflect. We'll see prices continuously soaring, and it will reflect in our inflation going up again. So hopefully, I think the government should sit down. They're looking too slow for me. I'm very disappointed at this government with what we're dealing with right now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the federal government has kicked off um, the consumer credit with 500,000 beneficiaries. So they said successful applicants of the consumer credit loan will start getting cash next week. Uh, the chief executive officer, Consumer Credit Corporation, Credit Corp, Uzoma Wangba, um, says according to him, 100 billion had been released to roll out to the beneficiaries and as we know the federal government has introduced this scheme to remove structural market and policy bar barriers and accelerate access to consumer credit by nigerians he says that um, the first phase of the initiative will see 15,000 civil servants being credited in each round continuing until they reach their target 500,000 civil servants um, they said also that the initial phase will be extended to include other eligible members of the public, broadening its impact on Nigeria's economy. So what, that mean, what they're saying is this first batch, the first um, batch that they're rolling out will be civil servants. Eventually, you know, all others, other eligible members will be added to this. And um, we know that this is a collaboration with the government and then Credit Corps and um, FCMB. So Credit Direct is Nigeria's largest lender to civil servants, the subsidiary of FCMB. They're hoping this partnership will accelerate access to consumer credit, particularly for civil servants worldwide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lagos State Government has extended its work from home policy uh, for its workers for the next three months. If you recall back in February 28, this year, um, the governor of Lagos State, Governor Sonwolu, had directed that the workers would work remotely on some days. So he had directed that um, workers from level zero, uh, 1 to 14 were allowed to work from home for two days in a week, while those on grade 15 to 17 were allowed to work from home one day a week. 
So now this has been extended for the next three months. So hopefully that should reduce, especially because of the issue of transportation and stuff like that. Focus should be on productivity. Okay, so the, pres the governor is still in the news. He went with the president to China and there was a signing of contracts, which should bring good news to people in my industry. Because now the CCNC, that's the China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation, has signed a contract to construct the Lekki Epe Link Bridge. Um, they also agreed that two, two contracts were signed by the governor of Lagos State in China. One was for construction of road. Second was for generation of power. The generation of power is about 50 megawatts. The solar power system would be built to support tertiary institutions within the states so that the challenge of um, whatever happens with um, the, the NERC will not grid. affect, national grid will not affect them. So the CCNC have also signed the... CCECC have signed to the a memorandum of understanding to build the bridge. The Lekki Ekwe Link Bridge will be covering the Lekki Ekwe axis of Lagos State. And the governor said that this is in part of um, the strategic transportation master plan. It is not just a blueprint, it is a commitment to ease the movement of Lagosians, commuting, making commuting experience seamless while supporting economic growth. And I'm excited about this, actually. Those of us I like about the continuity master plan is always yes. from, from the administration to administration. Yeah. We know now to the punch, petrol scarcity and NPCL bars, independent marketers amid surging prices. Nigeria's economy has stagnated, says Bill Gates. Neck fears poor harvest as flooding kills uh, 205. Abure rejects OT's 29-man peace panel. Niger police will torture, kill me if I surrender, says wanted Britain. Arms importation, federal government declares emergency in on a port. PDP shifts National Working Committee meeting over Governor Owike's um, pension. And state police neck to brainstorm on 32, 32 states reports. Okay, which story? Okay, let me quickly do the honest. This is a short story. So the controller, um, general of the customs, Bashir Adeni, said during the unveiling of um, seizure of illicit goods uh, by Nigerian customs in area two command on the in LML local government area of River State that now they have a recurring, you know, incidences of um, uh, finding illicit um, um, shipments into the country, especially arms and ammunition being brought into the country. They call, they call them dangerous cargo, importation of continuous dangerous cargo, including arms, and ammunition through the Oni port, and it's repeated in that area. So they have started, uh, started a you know, new effort. He called it um, a significant step towards cost of trade facilitation through the inauguration of upgraded facilities provided by the West African Container Terminal Oni. He says this, um, of course, has raised concerns, and they had to do, uh, it has to do with the repeated incidences of um, national security breaches unfolding in Oni. I hope that they can do much more because, you know, we have plagued, I have another story of banditry plaguing the Northwest, and we cannot continue to have, you know, these um, incursions into our place. Our right. land. Let's go on a short break. When we come back, we continue with our review. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.